More than 10,000 Bahamians are now shareholders in the Arawak Port Development Company. 2,000 of them are government employees who took advantage of the offer to get a salary in advance. Today, the final report was revealed at a news conference explaining just how many people will the, will the asset oversubscribe to the tune of $30 million be distributed. Clint Watson has the story. Joining the 20 initial investors of the Awak Port Company will be an additional 11,064 new Bahamian shareholders. Managing Director Mike Morris says a bottoms-up approach was used to determine the new shareholders. Due to the very large number of uh, applications, the maximum that any shareholder got was 115 shares uh, in the company. So even though someone may have shown up with uh, $100,000 to invest in the company, uh, they were limited to the 115 because following the bottom-up formula, uh, that's what uh, the result was. In the end, because of the large subscription, 3,388 people who applied for the minimum received those 50 shares. 333 were allotted 75 shares. 2,783 got 100 shares. And 4,560 got the maximum amount allotted of 115 shares. The only people rejected were less than a dozen whose checks bounced. Now this means many people who applied for more than 115 shares will have to be reimbursed. Chief Financial Officer at APD Dion Bethel says though challenging, they are now ready to present the board of directors with the shareholders listing and also commencing returning more than $30 million in excess funds. We will now move to a process for our listing on BISIX, after which time the company and its shares will be traded publicly on BISIX. Transparency was key to ensure people didn't try to beat the system and gain additional shares. C-Files Anthony Ferguson says this was the largest public offering in the history of the Bahamas, so the process was tedious and time-consuming. About 1,000 people tried to duplicate but were detected. On the application, um, you had to provide your NIB number and your passport number. And so in the first instance, uh, we would have scrubbed the data for any duplication of NIB numbers or passport numbers. Then we would have drilled down further any duplication of names. And then we would look for any number of entrusts for. And so at the end of the day, total applicants um, was about 12,100. So 12,100. And after we have taken out the duplicates, etc., we ended up with about 11,064. Some 4,000 checks will be returned to people. Providence Advisors Ken Kurtz says the shareholders represent a good cross-section of the Bahamas. Yeah, the offering was for 10 million. Uh, subscriptions total approximately 44.6 million, I think. So it means that uh, 34 and a half uh, will be returned to investors. What is interesting to note, too, statistically, that more than 95% of the applicants are actually individuals. Now, beginning Thursday, you have a two-week window to pick up those checks here at Seafell in the 308 East Bay Street building. After that, it'll be mailed to you. Clint Watson, ZNS News.